Hypothesis testing is really answering or checking this question. Is the sample a fair representation of the population? Is the sample the same or different than the population? Here's an example that we already talked about. The cancer drug was effective on the sample. Can we be confident it will work on the population? Is there any difference between these two things? Are the sample and the population the same? Can we assume they're the same? Or do we assume that they're different? Here's another example. Let's talk about batteries, like in phones. The sample of batteries we checked are reliable. Can we be confident about the population of batteries that are going to go into all of our phones? Is there a difference between these things, the sample and the population? And difference is really a key word here. Is the sample different or the same as the population? What do we assume? Here's another way of looking at this. Instead of looking or comparing a sample to a population, we could compare two samples to each other. So are two samples of batteries significantly different? Are the phone batteries as one more reliable than the other? Do we assume they're the same, or do we assume that they're different? So we can compare a sample to a population, or two samples to each other. Now as we do these comparisons, we could be looking for a difference in the mean, or in the variation. We could try two different scenarios, and we'll cover both. Now as we conduct these tests, we're going to form two different hypotheses. The first is what's called the null hypothesis, and this is where we assume that there's no difference between the sample and the population, or no difference between the two samples that we compared. And in those cases, the p-value is going to be greater than 0.05. The alternative of that is we say that there is a difference. The sample and the population are different from each other, or the two samples are different from each other. And in those cases, the p-value is going to be less than 0.05. Now, in the cases where the p-value is greater than 0.05, we say we fail to reject the null hypothesis. We don't say that we accept the null hypothesis. We say we fail to reject it. Now, in the bottom scenario, where the p-value is less than 0.05, we say we reject the null hypothesis. So our two options are to fail to reject the null or to reject the null hypothesis. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click to subscribe. And if you want a free stats cheat sheet, you can find one over at CodyBaldwin.com.